Welcome to iHeart Reviewing Stuff. So these are actually like stock images for these new Ellis Prize OMG Sunshine Makeover dolls. Uh, I was confused at first when I was hearing this like Sunshine Makeover because I was like, isn't there a doll named Sunshine? And I was like, did she get a makeover? And then I found out, I was like, oh, okay, these are like a totally like, you know, different doll. I don't really know like who these go to. Um, especially like this bubblegum DJ one just off the bat. Um, so these are going to have like a gimmick to them, but I, I could see kids liking this. Like, uh, so the hair and the outfit will actually color change in the sun. And I'm guessing MGA's probably done something like this before. I'm sure I could ask some people who, you know, collected brats and other like lesser known doll lines MGA. I'm guessing they've probably done this gimmick before. Uh, but I definitely know there's been, what, at least one tween? No, two tweens, I think, that had like color change hair. Uh, well, there was one that had glow-in-the-dark hair from the babysitter ones, and then the other babysitter, I think you had to stick her in the freezer to see her hair color change, and then I want to say it was the Marilyn uh, doll for, like, leading baby from series one uh, that you had to stick, you could put her hair in the sun and it would color change. Um, so, but I don't, I don't know if they've actually given clothes before the color change, and I'm not sure how that does over time, since, you know, I've only been a doll collector with my daughter since 2016. So I am not familiar with clothes with a color change feature, how that will look over time. It seems like something that could possibly be not so good uh, later on. Uh, this one's really cute. I could see Marissa liking this one. I don't think she's a favorite for me. Uh, the little emoji earrings, cute. Uh, the hair is colorful, and I think this one will actually show the color change of the hair. I'm not, like, I don't know, in love with the glasses or outfit or even uh, the bows in the hair. I don't know. Not, not a favorite for me, this one. Uh, yeah, the color change. I mean, it's fun. There's, I guess, going to be, like, little smiley emojis on those, like, leg warmers. The shoes actually color change, too. I didn't realize that. Would have been kind of cool if the earring and barrettes actually did, but, I mean, that's forgivable. It looks like the hair... I guess, yeah, the pink got darker. Definitely the stuff in the front goes from, like, yellow and blue to, like, orange and purple. Almost like a orangey-brown color. And the skirt definitely changed. Uh, it looks like even the top maybe went from a lighter blue to a darker blue. So some things are probably going to be a little more subtle and harder to really spot the difference. So, yeah, I don't know who this goes to. I don't know who Sunrise and Switches go to either. I really like them over this one, I would say. So here's Sunrise, uh, which I felt like, didn't they already name? No, they named her Sunset. Okay. The travel one that goes to Foxy, I believe. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was a little confused at first. I was like, haven't they already given us, like, a Sunrise doll? But I think that's called Sunset for the travel ones. Um, this one's really cute. My eye, like, definitely was drawn to this one. Um, she's giving, like, a groovy babe vibe, uh, which was in, like, the, what, Lights series? Or, yeah, I think it was, I don't think it was Dance. I think it was the Lights series. Um, but that doll was, like, all black and white. This one's, like, a little more fun and colorful. Again, I have no idea, like, what tot this is supposed to be for. Um, there's just maybe too many tots for me to <laughs> remember, like, who it would go to. Um, it looks like the shoes will change from yellow to purple. Uh, the hair, definitely some color changes. Uh, those glasses look familiar. I feel like class prez, and I feel like there's one other that's already had these glasses. Um, but the earrings are cute. I like the style of this. This is very, like, Nancy Sinatra to me. Um, so, I don't know, 60s, 70s vibe or something is what I get from this. Uh, she's really cute. 
Uh, let's see, do we get to see this one's color change? Uh, so there's like a plastic belt piece here. The eye makeup's kind of cool too. Oh, and there's hearts on the eyes and little heart freckles. That's pretty cute as well. Um, oh, okay, and I didn't know there's... Oh, all right, well, okay, this is cool. So if you remove like this long sleeve dress, you've actually got a pair of like kind of like acid wash jean shorts um, and like a fish netty top that I'm assuming isn't see-through, but I don't know, it might be. Um, kind of matches the socks, but that's cute. Um, this cla The shorts clash a little bit for me. Um, I don't know if there's a color change for those or not or if it's just gonna be that top layer of dress. Uh, let's see, do they show? Okay, yeah, I think it's just gonna be the dress. So even the socks, okay, and that top. Hmm, yeah, it's almost too bad the shorts don't do something. Cause yeah, they, they look fine that you just see a little pop of them under here. Um, it even doesn't bother me too much here, even though it definitely doesn't go with all the purple and yellow going on. Um, this is a pretty color, I would say I kind of like that color better than this green color. Uh, yeah, I probably actually like this doll in color change form even more. Uh, but I like either one actually. So, yeah, very cute. Uh, I like this one. Okay, and then this one, I think the only, what we're really going to see for the color change is only in the stock image here and like the half uh here on the like box art oh and i guess right here too as well there's an image did i not even notice that on the others i'm just gonna scroll up real quick for okay i didn't okay so it will show you like a picture of what to expect okay yeah my bad i didn't notice that um uh, but yeah i really like this one i don't know if it's because i like B girl and she has like the black and silver hair going on is maybe why my eye was like drawn to this one um and maybe all the like pale pink I don't know something about this one uh I also like um I'm just ugh, it's hard to tell though who's my favorite I, I, originally it was this one but I'm starting to really like that groovy looking one as well uh let's see here it almost looks like there's some micro braids for the black hair in the bow that's kind of cool if that's actually in there it kind of looks like it just based on how they separated the hair so i think the hair is shorter in the front because they used some of it to make these bows um and yeah i'm pretty sure i think that is some uh black hair micro braids um and then you know the pretty silver hair and then uh this one actually has silver eyebrows i feel i don't think b girl has a silver eyebrows but i don't remember for sure she definitely had some painted on baby hairs like this one but these are definitely different uh style um brown eyes the makeup i'm sure there, there's got to be some differences uh between the two but i think they are if you own b girl this one's kind of fun to have like to go with it i feel like i don't think they're like too similar uh so and i like this little necklace i that seems like a new style even the earrings actually look like something they haven't done before um and then the freckles are a little different on this. Are they like X's? It kind of seems like. So that's different. I don't feel like it's quite as cutesy though to me as when they do like star freckles or, you know, just regular freckles or the heart freckles. Um, yeah, that doesn't, I don't know. That's not coming off as like quite cute to me so I would say I'm almost like not really a fan of the like X's design or whatever it is uh so there's like a cute skirt here but you also have this skirt underneath which looks really nice uh and then the shoes and the socks and these little almost like kind of give me like ballerina vibe sleeves that have the cutouts and the little uh ribbon bows on them 
Uh, so I guess only one top with that one, but you get like definitely two uh, skirts. And then it's just too bad there's no stock image for some reason to show the color change like with the other two. I actually think I might like the glasses with this one. Are they going to have like these little flowers on them? It's hard to tell. Like, there's, it looks good in the artwork, but then I'm not sure once it's, like, over here in the more stock image of the doll. But hopefully there's some cute little flowers, because I think that actually looks cute on her uh, face. Um, and it's not going to, like, really cover up the eye makeup. Um, even though this one's kind of, it's kind of simple, so I actually probably wouldn't be super, like, oh no, I don't want to cover up the eyes. Okay, so yeah, here's the three uh, together, and then there's also one more that I'll scroll down uh, to show. But yeah, I would say either this one in the middle or uh, Switches, I think is her name, um, are definitely, so Sunrise and Switches. Bubblegum DJ, I, I definitely, I, I think that one will sell no problem. I have a feeling just the colors, um, and I think I've already seen some excitement. Um, for this one from some people uh but yeah i feel like i like these two more uh so at least with this one the dress removes and then you have a top and little shorts underneath i like that this one has two skirts and i like both skirts a lot uh and then yeah with this one i don't let me go back real quick sorry about that i just want to check because i kind of went through by her like quickly um yeah they're not really showing whether there's any like extra fashion piece like another top or skirt so it looks like this one might be kind of lacking in that department compared to the other two um all right so then here is let's find that last one so I guess this one they know, I guess, is a sister for Unicorn, um, which is <laughs> definitely kids love uh, that doll and I'm sure a lot of adults uh, as well. Um, so yeah, this one's cute uh, and it looks like we'll have a cute color change. I don't know if I love this ruffle design on the side of the pants. Because I really didn't like that. Um, I didn't know I was not going to like it so much when I bought the, the Barbie Extra doll. Um, what was it? Doll number three, which kind of, she kind of looked like just typical Barbie. Um, but she had like jean pants that had stars on them. And then there was the side ruffle. And I, it really just, I don't know. It, I didn't like it. Um. So, yeah, I worry about this with the ruffles and these, like, and it has the ruffles on, I guess this is a jacket as well. It looks okay in the stock image, but I just worry, like, in person, am I going to be like, ooh, like, no bueno, you know, I'm not sure. And then, I don't, what is this piece? It doesn't really give me swimsuit vibe. <laughs> It almost gives me like an 80s workout vibe. It seems like very like high cut like back then. Um, so yeah, I'm not loving that. I would say I liked Slash Beauty more than this doll in all honesty. Because I'm not really loving the... I think she looks fine in this pink dress that she comes in. But I'm not loving this selection I mean maybe they're these colors because they do a more fun surprise in the sun possibly I mean I kind of see some of it over here that I guess the pants something will highlight on them and then some more like kind of color change but I don't know if I like that <laughs> um, yeah I, I like the dress I feel like what she has on is cute I definitely don't think I'm feeling it with them adding the jacket and the pants to the dress. I think the dress is better on its own. Uh, 
Hopefully there's more than one pair of shoes. I can't really tell though. It's hard to see over here. And then they only show over here. Like for some reason this one doesn't have more stock images either. Uh, I'm cool with the earrings. They kind of look 80s to me. Uh, like a choker necklace it looks like. And a couple bracelets. Like a cloud purse. Um, not sure. I mean, I, I get like it's for a unicorn and I guess they wanted to make sure people knew that. So they put a unicorn horn on the sunglasses. I don't think I'm going to like that. Uh, so, yeah. And this one will probably be expensive. I want to say Splash Queen was like $44.99. Uh, something like that. Because the other, usually I think... They retail like $26.99, sometimes they're like $24.99, sometimes they're $28.99. It goes a little all over the place sometimes. And then if they come with like, I don't know, the remix ones, I know with the record players and extra outfits, uh, and the ones that came with tots um, were like $34.99. So. But I want to say Splash Queen, I thought it was like $44.99. But of course, there's been price increases. But I think OMGs have kind of kept their price. Um, it's not like Rainbow High and Shadow High, which have kind of gone crazy. Uh, so that means this one might not be uh, too bad. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just in all honesty, for me, I feel like I like the Splash Queen one more. This also looks kind of like a rain jacket short. How, is it a top? I don't know because we don't see her in it. Uh, I'm curious to see what this looks like on her because I don't know if I like it. Mint green shorts are probably the thing I'm the most fine with in these separate pieces over here. Like maybe the mint green shorts with this would look okay. Like cover up this like kind of looks like just weird underwear at the bottom part of it is just not giving me a swimsuit uh vibe um and then again i just don't know what to think of this i it seems like it's a top because they already have one jacket over here it just looks like a weird plasticky material like maybe it's the material like these ruffles are or more raincoaty i don't know um and these almost seem like a shiny uh, plasticky type material too but I'm fine with the color of them and that we get shorts is kind of cool and I like when dolls get pants so I'm not gonna completely like say like I wouldn't buy this one because it could be like if you see it in person maybe I'll like enough stuff more but I know with Splash Queen I think I did wait for her to lower a whole bunch in price before I bought her so I'd probably do the same thing uh, with this one, especially since I would, s and it's interesting, I guess there's only going to be three, uh, dolls instead of, I feel like usually they do like four, uh, so maybe they're kind of cutting back. I know the sports ones and BFFs are only like two at a time. Um, but yeah, I definitely, I like two of the four for sure. Uh, I would say I'm a little more skeptical of this unicorn one that, do they, I don't see her name anywhere. I don't know the name of this one. Um, and Bubblegum DJ, uh, I'm not as crazy about as Sunrise and uh, Switches. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening. Bye.